Yeah. <laughs> I really hate these jobs. I know what you mean. I want to keep a lid on this, is that clear? Yes, sir. Joe Evans, Camley Borough Planning Officer. Andrew Monroe, pleased to meet you, Joe. Uh, would you like to fill us in? Mr Cooper lives here. Three years ago, he built an extension at the back of his house. His neighbour, Mr Harper, complained. Said he didn't have planning permission. Did he? Oh, yes, he had permission. So why the demolition? The approval was for a single-storey extension. Mr Cooper built two storeys. Why? I think he just got carried away and kept on going. Mr Harper reported him to the council. They investigated and found that Cooper was in breach of planning conditions. The case went to court and Cooper was ordered to pull it down. He refused. We have a court order set for yesterday. Oh, you really should have called us in then. Well, to be honest, we weren't expecting any trouble. It's just that Cooper refuses to come out and now he's started making threats. Are you going to have this bloke out so we can get on? Uh, Inspector Monroe, Sun Hill, we'll do our best, Mr... Uh... John Downey, it's just that I wasted a whole afternoon here yesterday. And these two are due in Stratford on a loft conversion. I try not to keep you too long, Mr Downey. Can you look after Mr Downey, George? Yes, sir. Can I step over here, please? We'll have the pavement clear, please, Jamila. Yes, sir. Right, could you clear the pavement, please? There's nothing to see. Uh, uh, sorry, John Harper, chairman of the local Neighbourhood Watch. Right. And the Residents Association. I know your chief inspector quite well, and Mr Monroe, of course. Do you? Mm. Tell me they were very impressed with what we've achieved here. Do you, uh, do you think I could have a, a word with him? Well, he's a bit tied up at the moment, but I'll see what I can do. I mean, I can see the guy's point of view, but you can't have him threatening everyone who goes near him, can you? But why didn't they call us yesterday? The woman from the council said he was going to come quietly. I told her. I said they never do. People go mad over something like this. And is he mad? He's close to it. We put a scaffolding up and he started getting silly. Not violent. Threatening to. The problem is you're dealing with a man who's not rational. He's clearly broken the law. If only he'd done his homework before he started the work. Oh, this is my wife, Beverly. Hello. Just filling the officer in on the background to all this. Have you lived here long, Mrs Harper? Twenty years. It's a very nice street. And most people just need a bit of encouragement to keep the standard up, don't they? Well, once they see the house prices in Tamer compared to around the corner, they know it makes sense. Then... you look next door. Mr Cooper? Go away! Can we come in, please? No. I'd like to talk to you. I haven't done anything. Now leave me alone, will you? I'm not here to arrest you, Mr. Cooper. I want to talk. That's all. Build all this yourself? Yeah. You in the building trade? No. You made a good job of it. Well, they're not pulling it down. I'm telling you that now. Is that what you're going to stop them with? We're only here to make sure there's no breach of the peace. The bailiffs are fully entitled to remove you, by force if necessary. You don't want that, do you? You've been talking to him next door. No, only the planning officer. Well, you should do, because he's behind this. That may be. Would you let a snob like that tell you what to do with your house? Probably not. No, but neither would I. Well, the court order has the force of law. You've been through the appeals procedure. He's had it in for me since the day I moved here. If you want to make a complaint about your neighbour... I should as well. ...then there are ways of doing that. But what I'm not going to tolerate is any behaviour on your part that might cause a breach of the peace. Is that clear? Is that clear, Mr Cooper? Yes. I'll, um, I'll tell Mr Downey you can make a snort. Let him have a minute. He should be all right now. Sir? Goodbye, Mr Cooper. Right. Is there anything you'd like to collect? Jacket, that's all. What do you think? Waste. After you. Well, I thought you'd made a good job of it, for what it's worth. So where's the wife, then? Sacrifice for a principal. When all this started, she wanted to move. I said no, so she left anyway. I suppose he's been giving you his side of it. He seems quite reasonable. Well, you don't want to be taken in by that. That guy's not all there. He seems all right to me. Till you get to know him. What's he up to now? Taking pictures. Time to cut it out, will you? 
Don't take any notice, This is okay? what he's like, you see. He's been doing this for years. OK, so just ignore him. Carry on, then. You come on. Hey, hey, take it easy. Do you want to crucify me, do you? Do you want blood? Is that what you want? Come on, then. Mr Harper, uh, would you mind not doing that? Mr. He's not what? Satisfied Have I broken the law? Down. You're not helping. In front of the whole street. But I'm in my own front car. So let us deal with it. I'll do you, Harper, you stuck-up prat! You want my picture? Calm down, please. Do you? No, let him have his say, hey? officer. Go on, then. Go back to your own garden. Take it, then. Threats. Threats. That's all you're good for. Take my picture! Do you want a couple? Hey? Which side do you want? Do you want this side? Right. Or do you want the other side? Calm hey! down, Mr Cooper! That's an expensive camera. You want a little piece of me to take away with you, don't you? Stick it up on your wall. You're not satisfied with my home. You're not satisfied with bricks and mortar. You want a piece of my soul! That's what I'm doing, Mr. Cooper! Does that mean you can attack me? You want more, dear? Do you want more? Yeah, you want some camera. more? Come on, my I'm packing it all. We're forced to arrest you. Do you understand? Me? You're going to arrest me? That's what you should have done in the first place. I told you what he was like, didn't I? The man's a maniac. Mr Harper, what please. What do we you are? People are laughing at you. Look, laughing. <laughs> thing. All right, all right, that's it. Come here. I'm arresting you for assault. And my camera. And criminal damage. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned. Don't check that out, please. If you do not mention when questioned something that you later lie in court, anything you do say may be given an evidence. Do you understand? Satisfied? Move. Lie still for a bit, you'll be all right. Oh, oh, right oh, Sierra Oscar oh, from 251, oh, urgent message. Go ahead, Jamila. Ambulance required and fire service read dangerous structure. 87 Tamar Crescent, male injured. Could you move out of the way? What did I say? Cooper should have been arrested. He'll kill someone before he's finished. does. I can tell. Why would I? You tell me. You were the one making all the threats. If I wouldn't hurt anyone. Just assault them. You deserved it. So that makes it all right then? I can tell you can't stand the bloke. I'm not saying anything. You saw what he was like. Six or one and a half a dozen of the other. All we wanted was our own house. Jean used to say, could she have a little pond? You know, one of those ones with a little fountain and everything. Lights in the water so you could see it in the dark. And instead of him saying, oh, that's nice, you made a good job of that, you know, like you would, he says it's lowering the tone. I've done loads of work on that house and he wants me out. Why? You could have tried talking to him. No, I don't think you do talk to people like him, Jamila. No, he talks, you listen. I'm feeling sorry for him. Come on, Mr Cooper. How'd you get? I can't believe it's me in here, not him. George, can you sort him out for me, Jimena? When I left Tamar Crescent, Mr Cooper was as good as gold. Uh, yeah, things turned nasty all of a sudden, sir. Clearly. And now we've got one man assaulted and another one in hospital, is that right? Well, apparently the scaffolding just collapsed, sir. Yeah, I've had Mr Harper on the phone. He thinks Cooper's tampered with it during the night. What, deliberately? What do you think? Oh, no, I can't see that, sir. Well, Downey's convinced it wasn't his fault. <sighs> yeah, well, he would say that, wouldn't he? Oh, then it's up to health and safety to tell us. you better get on with processing Mr Cooper. Sir. Oh, one other thing, George. Mr Harper wants to make a statement about the charges. If it hadn't been for Harper, sir, we wouldn't have the problem. But just remember that he's useful to us. Area coordinator for Neighbourhood Watch. But people aren't exactly queuing up for the job. No, sir. Would you like some coffee? Oh, thank you. I can't tell you how much pleasure it's going to give me when that finally comes now. Well, I believe you want to make a statement. Oh, I'm not sure that's necessary. I know what you're thinking. But someone had to stand up to the man. Can we just get on with it, please? You understand, don't you? Your colleague thinks I'm being a bit harsh. Mr Harper, what you decide to do is your own business. If you want to press charges against Mr Cooper, that's entirely up to you. You think I'm as much to blame as he is? It's a bit of a no-win situation, isn't it? You're fully acquainted with the facts, are you? A no-win situation? John... No, 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 no. You see, I think I'm doing you a favour. Oh, really? But you can't see how Mr Cooper might have found your behaviour just a, a little bit provocative, no? No. Taking all those pictures? Where our next-door neighbour is concerned, a photographic record is essential. Come with me. They don't want to see all that. I'd like you to see something.
next door, as it was four years ago. Two weeks after he moved in, new windows, front garden. Back garden then, back a garden now. Have you ever in your life seen anything like it? I mean, would you like to live next door to it? What's this? Almost nothing. It's Mr. Cooper, isn't it? It's, uh, it's just something for the um, Residents Association. This man's activities have reduced the market value of your property. So-called improvements at this address could half the value of your house. So what, you, you've taken all these photographs of Mr. Cooper over three, four years, and you've published this leaflet? For information only. How would you feel if it was you? I wouldn't have got myself into this situation in the first place. I'd have done things properly. Well, if it was me, I'd feel a bit aggrieved. Would you? Well, I think this might constitute an offence. What offence is that? How about causing alarm and distress? I'm the one suffering alarm and distress. John, please. I'd like to see your senior officer. Well, let's do the statement first, shall we? No. I'd like to go to Sun Hill. And then I'd like to see Inspector Monroe. All right. John, it's not worth it. If you don't mind. If that's what you want. I'm sorry. He gets very worked up. Perhaps you should go with him. Well, perhaps I should. <laughs> I've got the car keys. He's not actually encouraging anyone to do anything. Not in so many words. So there's no criminal offence? I suppose not. And Mr Cooper hasn't made a complaint? No. Then we don't have a problem, do we? I've had a call from Health and Safety. The scaffolding wasn't properly secured. It's impossible to tell if it was deliberately tampered with or not. Apparently Downey's got a reputation for cutting corners, though. Right, so it could have just been in a rush. We forgot to check whether the clamps had been done up properly, yeah? Oh, Mr Harper. Mrs. Harper, you wanted to see me? Yes, but... I'll talk to you later, George. Sir. Would you like to come through? Wait there, Bev. So, what's this about, Mr. Harper? Can I talk frankly? Of course. PC Garfield. I suppose there's no further word about that builder. We've not heard anything else, I'm afraid. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. If it's not life-threatening, they may just want to keep an eye on him. It's not just that. I'll catch up with you in a minute. Okay. I can't tell you what all this has done to us. Well, these things happen, don't they? Neighbours. It's not uncommon. We both had very responsible jobs. John was a head teacher. That started to get a bit stressful, so we both took early retirement and we put everything into making the house nice. John had something to do again. And then he moved in next door. I think you and I understand one another, don't we? I hope so. I like to think I do my bit. I was the first to join the Neighbourhood Watch in Tamar. And we're very grateful. I've got a social conscience, and I don't like causing a fuss. But this is a matter of principle. That officer... Let's take this step by step. What exactly is your complaint? Lack of respect is what it comes down to. Talking to me as though I was a common criminal. <laughs> you don't think you've got this out of proportion? No, I don't. I'm trying to help you. Don't you understand? I understand that we won't get very far if you start raising your voice. Did you ever think of moving? Oh, no, not after all the money we've spent. <laughs> John won't give up until Mr Cooper's left. He can't seem to think about anything else. I sometimes wonder if he's a bit... you know, obsessed. Some of the things he says... Like what? They're a bit out of proportion. He doesn't mean it. Must have been a strain. I can't remember when I last had a decent night's sleep. John gets up at the slightest sound from next door, ranting and raving. I'll just listen to him now. That's why. I don't think anyone would blame him. 
I mean, they'd understand, wouldn't they? If he did something. I think they would. If he'd taken the law into his own hands. They'd understand. They'd understand why. What specifically? I don't think I ought to say any more. It's for his own good. I don't know anything for sure. What you suspect, then? I don't want to get John into trouble, but I can't stand any more of this. I think he may have done something silly. Like what? I don't want to make things worse. Is it to do with the accident? When Mr Cooper was threatening everyone and the workmen refused to take that extension down, John thought that Mr Cooper had won again. All he had to do was sit there and refuse to come out and that was it. They couldn't touch him and that extension was going to be there for good. What do you think he's done? How many more times? I am not the guilty party. I think we've gone as far as we can with this, Mr Harper. How about a breath of fresh air? Sorry to interrupt, sir. What is it? It's quite important. Just bear with me, Mr Harper. I've been talking to Mrs Harper. She thinks her husband interfered with that scaffolding. Deliberately? From what she says, it sounds as though he's cracking up. Mrs Harper, is this true what Jamila's just told me? I'm sorry I said it. I, I don't know what I was thinking of. You think your husband's done something to make the scaffolding collapse? No, I got confused. Would you be willing to make a statement? No. No. Think about it carefully, Mrs Harper. That man might have been seriously hurt. I was just being silly. Don't tell John, please. He'd be furious. Please. I've just been talking to your wife, Mr Harper. She's been telling me something rather alarming. What? Oh, I'm not sure what to make of it. She seems very anxious about something. Don't be juvenile, Inspector. Get on with it. All right. Scaffolding. I don't follow. Well, I think you do. Your wife's very concerned about you, isn't she? And she's got good cause. Because you told her what you've been up to. You're lucky that man wasn't killed this morning. Let me be blunt, Mr Harper. I think PC Garfield was doing his best to help you out of a difficult situation. Absolutely not! I strongly advise you not to start shouting at me again, Mr Harper. I'm trying to be helpful. Well, you're not being helpful at all. Have I committed an offence? I don't know. Have you? That's an outrageous suggestion. I have never knowingly broken the law. Let me give you some friendly advice, Mr Harper. You've got to go back home in a minute. Mr Cooper will be released quite soon. <laughs> You're letting him out again. And the likelihood is that you'll have to go on living next door to one another. Uh, this sort of thing doesn't help, does it? It's only going to inflame the situation. All right, I might have been a bit hasty over that. If so, I apologise. You're a respected member of the community. People listen to you. You've got influence. I think if your neighbours knew what you've been up to, they might revise their opinion of you. Am I making myself clear? I said, am I making myself clear? Perfectly. I don't like my officers being dragged in to sort out petty squabbles like this one between you and Mr Cooper and then being abused when they try to help. Now, I take it you won't be pressing charges against Mr Cooper? Not if he agrees to pay for my camera, no. Good. You've got a very loyal wife, Mr Harper. You should look after her. We're leaving. Get your bag. Inspector? 
constable. Is, uh, is everything all right, sir? Mr. Harper's not making a complaint. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, Miller. Why? I tell George what Mrs. Harper said. She thinks her husband fixed the scaffolding. Right. Shame it doesn't get us anywhere. Uh, I, I don't understand. She won't make a statement. You mean we can't arrest him? No proof. Could just as easily have been negligence on Downey's part. Have you got everything? I think so. Right. So you're phone then, yeah? Yeah, well, back to half of it, I suppose. Well, cheer up. Why? When he told him. What? Well, Harper's dropped the charges. Yeah, we've still got my extension down, hasn't he? Jamila. Bye then. Yeah. Look, um, don't let him provoke you anymore, OK? Yeah. Try and stay out of trouble, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, look, just come back here a minute. What? Just come here. Uh, this isn't official. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Those leaflets. What about them? Well, you could, if you wanted to, do something about it. How do you mean? Well, you could take whoever it was to court. So it was defamation of character, doing for libel. Can I do that? No, I don't see why not. You'd have to get advice, though. Yeah, you're right. It's not a criminal offence, so you'd probably have to take out a civil action. It might cost you a few quid. So what? You think I can have him? I'll make him sweat for a change. Just take it easy. All the way. I'll take him to the European court if I have to. Don't go punching him again, that's all. No, this'll be enough for me. Let's see how he likes it. Cheers, mate. Good luck. What was all that about? Nothing. Well, something cheered him up. I told him about the leaflets, that's all. You told him to take it to court, didn't you? And what if I did? You've given Cooper more ammunition. Look, Jamila, I think that bloke's got a right to be upset after the way he's being treated. Don't you? And now they can just start the whole thing all over again. Brilliant. Brilliant.